So I'm ready to take some pictures and you guys. Guten Morgen Leute, wie geht's es dir? Just woke up at 7 o'clock, it's still dark outside. Let's have a coffee and let's start this day in the right way. Here is a little update on everything that's going on. So I just transferred the content from yesterday vlogging on the computer, it's kind of loading. And in the meanwhile I'm editing some blog posts, I'm checking out the blog here as well to see how everything looks and fits, what needs to be changed. And then I'm going to write here in the agenda a schedule for this month for all the blog posts so that everything is kind of organized in my head. I know what's due, what's coming in, what's coming out, and that way my life is much easier. As you can see, it's still dark outside and it kind of feels a little bit cold as well. I put a hoodie on because I was way too cold. Uh, we have two, three hours, like two and a half hours before I have to um, go. So in those two three hours I'm gonna get ready but not too much so like I'm not gonna do any makeup or anything like that probably I'm just going to have my coffee of course uh, do some emails do stuff that I need to do before I leave so that the rest of the team can work on their stuff I think the shoot will take around three four hours that's the scheduled but we'll see I know it's not really quite a topic, but I've just applied my cuticle oil and I thought like, I need to tell you guys how great it is. It is this um, NCLA, I've used it up basically, now I can't really use the pipette anymore, I have to kind of like pour it out. It's the watermelon vitamin E infused cuticle oil called So Rich. Here I have some of my favorites, I also, as you guys know, I love the Chanel hand cream, the lip balm, and I love this uh, by Rita Black Saffron. Cream. It smells insane, um, but this is just so beautiful and nourishing for the cuticles. I really, really love it. Okay, did a little crush session this morning. It is nine o'clock now, if I'm not mistaken. And what I'm going to do now is kind of like enjoy the next half an hour before I get dressed to leave. The main point is that um, this shoot is kind of going to be a no-brainer. I just need to bring, I think, a pair of boots. I also want to create some content in the studio since we're already going to be there. What do you guys think about Realmas so far? Let me know. It's finally day. Very happy about that because I love when um, it's bright and light outside. When it's too dark, I feel a little bit demotivated, though I am most productive in the mornings, early in the mornings when everybody else is asleep. My biggest problem during the day, especially during a working day, is that I get a little bit overwhelmed with WhatsApp messages and messages in general. I tried to be, I kind of try to be everywhere because I have like a really well-organized team, but at the same time, I find it like I need to be involved in everything because I'm a bit of a control freak so when I respond to comments I respond to all the comments myself um you know like my personal emails things like that so for me it's very very important to not lose touch that's why during the kind of working day I find it very hard to focus on like writing or things like that so I like to do all of those things between seven and nine in the morning and then you know to focus um, the majority of the day on creating Content. What about you guys? Are you more of a morning or more of a night people? Seems that the winter's here. <laughs> so cold. I'm not gonna get ready. Uh, like I said, they're gonna do my makeup and stuff there. But it's so cold. Let's check what's the temperature. Seven degrees. Okay, it's not that bad. But it feels like four. So I need to warm up. I want to be very, very cozy. Um, dress up. I'm gonna overly moisturize my face. Then I'm gonna use these Pathology Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. Ta -da! They come with a little spatula to take out. Some people apply it the other way around, like the thicker part here and the thinner part out, but not me. I don't know why. I always do it like this. Use the Biologic Research Emulsion Original. Let's do this. Just apply it everywhere, really around the area. Massage. My skin loves this. Pro 
product. Kind of want to look presentable, but kind of want to be like literally in a hoodie like this. So I don't know. Let's leave this to sink in a bit. I think the best of all is when uh, I look like this and then there's of course um, package arriving <laughs> like I told you guys they always come in the morning this morning I have a UPS miss delivery which makes me very angry because of course I was at home and awake since 7 but you know welcome to France that's usually how it is very often they don't really <laughs> they don't really bother ringing but got dressed i know i wanted to wear like a super comfy cozy track suit but at the end of the day it's not really how i usually go out is it so i've got this knit dress you could have seen this video in my favorite winter coats this one was one of them i love it so much i will link it below it's honestly the coziest and the warmest thing ever i don't know if the studio is going to be cold so it's good to have this and decayed boots i still got my hydration patches but if i push them up no one's gonna be able to tell, right? So that's it. I'll take my Dior Bobby bag because that bag is just perfect for this, you know, it fits enough. And let's go. Here is a little bit of modern Paris for you guys. Not quite New York, but almost there, you know, with the big, tall, glassy buildings, which is not something I very often see in Paris. Wow, this is so different and so beautiful. Light, stunning courtyard. Um, I don't really know where to go, so I'm just waiting to get a text message. It's actually technically not even really in Paris, but it is, of course. For me, anything that's like 20 minutes from, you know, <laughs> from the center is in Paris, or 30 minutes, even less than an hour. In London, you're still in London and you could be commuting for an hour and a half easily. Let's do this, it's so beautiful here. <sighs> Bonjour. I have no words, like stunning, stunning space and we're just, you know, putting everything. look it's very very different now you guys look at this okay guys quick update I mean this makeup is so amazing it's already like almost three o'clock time to take this off and go home because it's a wrap it's 2 32 I'm starving haven't had any food today this is why models are skinny you want to be very professional you don't want to complain that you want your second coffee or food so you just push through. Uber is coming. I'm gonna order everything in the world to eat because I'm starving. One more minute, it's coming. Guys, I got home and the best boyfriend in the world was waiting for me with what exactly what I wanted to eat. Also wanted to show you my favorite shot from today's shoot. This is going to be on my Instagram soon. <laughs> soon, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna wash my hands and eat now. Also in case you're wondering, this is what I look like still. They asked me if I wanted them to remove everything and I was like, no, no I, just, I just want to go home. I was so exhausted from the shoot because, well, when you think about it, I got up at seven, didn't have any food. It's three o'clock now. I'm starving and all I want, enjoy um, time with my boyfriend because it's his day off, so. That's the plan. And then I will wash my hair again today, unfortunately, but it has to be done. But I will do it nicely, at least like for myself. I'm gonna wash my hair and going to wash my face as well. Before uh, we go to shower, <laughs> I say we like we're going together, uh, before you and I, now actually it's only gonna be me showering, but the point is before I go to shower, remove my makeup and all of that other stuff, I thought it's time to open the iron calendars. That should probably be done like the first thing in the morning and I'll try and aim to do it as a first thing in the morning, but we're doing it now. So, number four is here. 
This morning seems like it was forever ago. We, here we have Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. Lovely. I have tried using this before, but it did not really do anything for me. So I'm very, very picky with the toners. And over here in my beautiful Vuitton advent calendar, we have... Wow. Something really, really, really special. And then let's see our other advent calendar. Can anybody see number four? Ah, it's here, but look how thin it is. Oh, what could this be? Maybe like, okay, let's guess, a nail file, because it's all about the nails. It's not a nail file. Ah, it's like a brush. It's a brush with which you apply the gels and things like that. That is really cool, actually. What I wanted to show you is that I received this invitation and it's today, I believe. Let's check. It's for the Chanel Moutier Dart collection. Today at 7 p.m. So I will take you with me to watch the collection. I think that will be pretty cool. I received a special present from Chanel yesterday and I'm so curious what's in there. However, I think I'm gonna put it under the Christmas tree, which I do not have yet. But when I do have it, I think it will be so wonderful. So massive thank you, Chanel, for this. And today will be so exciting because we actually have the show to watch as well. Oui, bonjour. Oui, c'est moi. Okay. It's a package. I have no idea actually what it is. I'm expecting a few things. I love how they've done the sideburns. I had some freckles as well, by the way. But I love how they've done the sideburns. So cute. Bonjour. Bonjour. Wow. Merci. Ah. Ici c'est bon. Oh, okay. Je veux juste. Ouais. Tac, tac, tac. Ah, photo? Ouais, c'est scanner. Ouais. Tac. Parfait. C'est bon? Ok. Bon. Merci. Merci. Au revoir. Bonne journée. I mean, I know December is the time of the year that I receive the most gifts, but this also just arrived today. Let's see if I can cheat. Open it like this. Yeah. Oh wow, this is insane. I didn't expect this at all. Yes, we got a wreath! Baby, we got a wreath for our door! We got a wreath which we will put on the door. I'm so happy about that and it's a real one. And then some incredible products from Carolina Herrera which... <gasps> but this is even better. We can just hang it like this. The our door is like three meters or four meters tall, so I'm not sure. Oh my god. Saffron Lazuli, love this. And some makeup products. And there's like this is insane. I'm so 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 grateful. Especially because I love this brand so much and this is just so wonderful. As I told you guys, today is my first um, official Chanel show. That I received the invite for. There we go. So we're gonna watch it together. I'm gonna obviously it's digital. I'm gonna load up the QR code and let's watch it. Stunning makeup. I'm probably gonna get um copyrighted. So music down. Sorry, Chanel. I'm sure you put a lot of effort into this. Ah, I can see something really nice like this jacket with the belt. Love this. Oh. This is so beautiful as always, Chanel. White and black, a little bit of pink, empowerment, freedom. This bag looks like a typical classic Chanel. A lot of caro. Of oh, course, the tweed shorts. Interesting. Prince of Wales. Love this. So, I know I keep saying that I want to wash my hair, but there's some plaits inside. Hopefully, there'll come a point when I will show you the pictures of today's shoot. I don't know when we're getting them at all, because they're for internal purposes. For the purposes of, like, kind of a portfolio for my agency, like, to have on the books. To show like to brands when they ask and stuff like that because the whole point is I think I told you I had a request from a brand to do more of like a shoot a modeling shoot the one that I don't really post on my social media but we didn't have any examples to show them of my work so now we will have wow and it was really difficult for me today because when I do shoots as an influencer 
there's always like clothes at the set and they ask you, you know, like, put this on. And then, <laughs> lol, what is this here? They always ask you like, hey, put this on. And then I would say like, I'm sorry, I don't like this, you know? But when you're a model, you don't say that because you're not really saying, hey, this is my style and this is what I like. You're just shooting a lookbook. It doesn't say anywhere, this is Tamara. It's not about me. It's just about the clothes. But when you're an influencer, and over the years that I've been doing this, I really learned to be quite opinionated and I say, I don't like this, I'm sorry, this product is not of my taste. Uh, where I would tell brands, I'm sorry, like this product doesn't is not in line with what I want to show to my uh, followers, it's not something that I think my followers would appreciate me showing, or I don't like this particular product, maybe next time if you know, your collection is different, I will like it better, and so on. So I'm very, very strict. On this stuff and I know everybody says that but then you see people do <laughs> collaborations with brands that you're like oh what is this you know so I guess people do say that but I really mean it and I've got receipts to show so I will insert the screenshots uh, because I feel like it's important to show so today at the shoot like there was this suit that I loved, lol, I look so funny now, I'm gonna wash my hair immediately. There was this suit that I loved, but it had a massive brooch and I said like, I honestly don't like <laughs> really brooches. Even Chanel brooch, I think like, looks a bit like, don't wanna sound offensive because I don't mean it, but I don't think like me wearing like a black suit with a Chanel brooch would look like anything except from a, a sales associate at a beauty counter. That's kind of what I see mostly and I try to set the trends and to be inspiring to show you something you haven't seen before. I don't think that's something you haven't seen before. Like I said, I think, you know, this looks great on other people, but I don't think this is something that I should be showing you guys and being like, I'm so inspiring, my style is so great, when there's nothing really of substance to show or different or not, not introducing you to any new brands. Or anything worthwhile so today at the shoot I was like oh like you know I don't like brooches and then I realized like no one's really asking me because this is not me promoting a suit or a brand this is just me being like a model and it's really difficult you know I'm gonna wash my hair now shower remove the makeup have a warm drink and yeah catch up with you hopefully a little bit more oh I also wanted to show you something else I got a present from Vuitton. This is like super overdue. Um, they were gonna send it to me a while back, but they wanted to send it to London and I was not in London and it's from their Game On collection. It's the same collection as the bag that I showed you yesterday. This comes in a leather pouch. I could feel it. I had no idea. So this is from the Game On collection. It's like a leather pouch. This is so amazing for me and it's a set of cards. I never play cards, but what I love are the Vuitton cards, look at this, like they are gold inside. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, they're insane, but that's not the point. I will play cards now, the point is that I do need this small leather goods from the Game On collection because this is so perfect for the cards and, and stuff like that. I love the cards with the gold sides and the black back. Insane, thank you so much Le Vuitton. They feel like they're metal on the side. It's quite hard to explain, but something even more incredible from the wonderful Vuitton team. I'll show you in a second, you're not gonna believe it. Uh, they asked me if there was something that I really love. And this is the jacket. Now, if I show it to you, you are not gonna see much because I'm wearing this dress. Can you see, like now with all of this knitting and stuff, you won't be able to tell, but I love it love the shoulders love the way it's made so i'm gonna wash my hair i will do all the so it will take me a while and then i will see you in a moment do, 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 do. It, honestly i look like from a horror movie oh, but at least i feel so clean and nice and uh i put on a cashmere set from naked cashmere i will link it below i was just thinking I'm craving so much coffee, but it's like really late for coffee. Yeah, 5.45, but I only had one today because of the shoe. I'm gonna make myself a decaf, gonna dry this hair. I actually have to like um, upload the content from today, like to get it to the computer. And I have to right now upload yesterday's video so that it can go live because it's 5.45, it goes live at 6 French time, so... Honestly, my hair looks like a broom right now. I mean, it's not fully dry, but it just looks a bit ridiculous. The current situation is such that this is the hair because 
I I washed it and then I had to publish like I told you uh, like a vlog I had to do a real mask for today and stuff like that so I didn't have a chance to right away dry it and now I'm going through all the comments and all of the important stuff so while I'm doing it I'm gonna have to dry the hair in the office without a mirror which is why it looks like this that explains a lot it's vlogmas it's kind of like um fashion week of YouTube world that's what I would call it and for you guys who are new to my videos because a lot of you have commented saying like hey can you explain the concept of vlogmas it's for the month of December I do a video every single day so you can get to see me like really as everything is specifically this month I have not planned anything my life is exactly how it always is you see it very raw basically you know just what I do every single day day by day i'm doing day by day i'm not doing like twice a week or three times a week or whatever i don't i know there's so many rules to this i know some people pre-filmed it like a month ahead i wish i did that but it doesn't feel natural for me it doesn't feel i'm so not excited about content that i've done months ago not even a picture even a picture if i've done a picture months ago i'm not even excited to post it so i'm quite like in the moment person when it comes to things like that um but yeah i also ask you guys what would you like to see a lot of you have said to show you local cafes restaurants and things like that but we don't have any cafes or restaurants or anything like that open then there was a big bunch of you saying that you would like to see kind of uh events and things like that as usually again that's not going on and then some people said like oh i'm gonna unsubscribe because <laughs> you're not traveling as you used to but i thought that was kind of like it's quite difficult to understand we can't we, we, i mean we can travel and i do travel if i really have to travel um if i'm doing like something really big for work in the past month i think i traveled only once back to london it was kind of for a very important thing but that's it i feel very sorry if that's disappointing to some of you but i guess this year will be like no other year before and you will get to see me like really really super raw i get to talk to you more i get to hang out with you more and you get to see what my life is like more from a different perspective Okay, so this is the verdict, published the vlog, dried the hair, um, responding to your comments to Vlogmas, I always like to respond to as many comments to Vlogmas as possible, I also might have even rewatched another one of my old Vlogmas from last year, the one when we went to Berlin, um, always kind of interesting to see different, made a list of everything that I still need to do, had my decaf, you guys saw that already, and i'm gonna go have my salad for dinner i'm pretty hungry so all i had today were those eggs and it's 7 15. so yeah it was kind of a crazy day hopefully it's not gonna be like that tomorrow Ta -da! this is my favorite salad in the whole entire world tuna corn i mean i'm sure you've seen it already in this vlog i have this literally almost every other day because that's how much I love it. Let me show you the wreath. Here you can see on the entrance door um, the wreath. It's so beautiful. I love it. And it's so Christmassy. It reminds me that it's that time of the year again. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite spot. I just almost fell asleep on, on the bed while I was watching um, something for work. I'm gonna cozy up under the blanket and watch the crown it's only 8 30 and i could go to bed right away i know i want to get up also very early in the morning again around seven but what i'm gonna try and do i slept so well last night it was so beautiful but what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna watch one episode of crown so it's gonna be like 9 30 ish and then i'm gonna go to bed not sleeping yet, not in PJs yet, but I've just done my skincare, um, the evening routine, which you saw um, two nights ago, I believe. I also um, brushed my teeth, you know, got kind of ready for bed, and um, yeah, I'm gonna read a little bit, and then gonna sleep. Wanted to wish you all a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>